Take a look at this. This is Indian Valley in Plumas County. Just absolutely beautiful out there. And I want you guys to try to guess who took that video you see there. You probably wouldn't have guessed. It's our own meteorologist, Brian Ramsey, in the Storm Tracker Weather Center, who took that video. And Brian, what do you got for us coming up? More sunshine? Yeah, I was off yesterday. It was a really great day out there. I went up to Deer Creek Falls in 32, then Lake Almanor, then Indian Valley. Really gorgeous drive. I Highly recommend it. It was just nothing but a great day outside yesterday. Today we saw the same thing, and we're going to continue to see this lovely weather that we've been seeing into next week. So, no rain really in the forecast for now, but the sunshine will continue. And Easter Sunday is going to be fantastic. I have a live look outside right now from Mount Shasta. All the snow is really beginning to melt on that mountain. It's very clear, all the bald spots you can see on the mountain. A lot of snow has melted. Observed highs that we saw today in the 70s. We avoided the 80s today. I know we hit them yesterday. Today, though, we had a nice southerly breeze, which kept us a little warmer. Temperatures right now sitting in the mid to low 70s in the valley, 60s in the mountains, and those winds coming in from the south. 14 mile per hour winds in Chico right now. And since we have a southerly breeze, that's what you call the delta breeze. It comes in from the Bay Area and it brings in cooler air into our region, which is why we have been seeing cooler temperatures today compared to yesterday. It's also a little windy in Modoc County and Lassen County right now, but the overnight low temperatures will be getting into the mid 40s in the valley tonight and some 30 degree temperatures in the mountains. I think most of you will avoid freezing, but still a few of you could just touch 32 degrees tonight. Highs tomorrow getting back into the low 70s, maybe not the mid 70s, maybe a degree or two cooler for Easter Sunday, but overall it will be a fantastic holiday for any outdoor activities you have planned. And then a slight change on Monday. We do have a trough of low pressure coming in, a little system uh, disturbance moves in, but it's going to be a very weak disturbance. This will bring cloudy weather for us on Monday and a few mountain showers along the Oregon border and in some of our mountains in our northern counties, so Siskiyou County, Modoc County, maybe the Shasta County Mountains. You could see a few light showers, snow levels about seven to 8,000 feet, but overall everyone else is going to be very dry and you might see some breezy weather with this system as well on Monday. Once we go through your future cast, I do want to show you the winds increasing with that system coming. Uh, Saturday, we're not going to see anything too windy today and tomorrow either. But once we get to Monday, we will see some of those uh, breezy conditions really moving in the valley and in the mountain regions. As for the rest of your forecast, I don't know what is popping up here. I think that was the Easter forecast, but uh, the Easter forecast is looking fantastic. We are going to see a high of 74 degrees, lunchtime probably in the mid 60s, so that's some pretty good weather. We're back in the highs in the 60s on Monday, so we are going to leave you a little cooler on Monday, but the sunshine returns and so do the mid 70s on Tuesday, and they stick with us into next weekend. As for Reading, high of 73 degrees for Easter, 68 on Monday. Then we're back up to 76 on Tuesday. So that is a big dip in temperatures, but overall, 68, 76, both are pretty pleasant, uh, except you're going to see more clouds on Monday, but more sunshine for the rest of the week. Cool. Thank you, Brian. I'm actually mm -hmm. looking forward to more sunshine. I know we need the rain, but I love the sun, I got to say. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> we need the rain, but, you know, yeah. if we're going to get the nice weather, we might as well take advantage of it. Exactly, right? Mm -hmm. Thanks, Brian. And we'll be right back.